Welcome to The Goblet Wire, a surreal microfiction podcast. Transcripts are available on our website, thegobletwire.card.co. This is Episode 7, The Urban Network, written by Eli Barraza. Good afternoon. Please stay Tipped Bishop, I found the glass coffin. And inside grew starlight. Harvest for the heavens. Then you say the earth is thirsty, then I say the ocean is just salt now. Patch me through. Die used? The same damn die I use every time. Coin? Dollar coin with... What's her name? The racist suffragette. Taken from a metro change slot, year 1996. Now put me through. Any housekeeping? Just put me through! Patching you to the dictator. Logging. Session 44. Please hold. (sighs) You stand in front of the door, sweat dripping off of you in the heat of the tunnel. There is no door. The door is rusted, but not rusted shut. There's a lock. Listen, you piece of... I figured out which metro system this is based on, and I went to that station, and I followed every move I've made in this game, and not only is there no door there, but there were other ways out. Ways you didn't tell me. There's no one else with you on the platform. It's quiet. Peaceful, if not for the heat. You're a liar. I'm telling you there shouldn't be a door there. But there is the door, still waiting. Then where's the key, huh? I've looked in every nook and cranny of your so-called metro, and have found squat. None of my keys work, but you won't let me leave. No. No, I won't use that. You can't make me use that. I was saving it. You knew I was saving it! I flew all the way here to fact-check you, and you're wrong! There is no door. And you're still gonna make me use it, aren't you? A gasp of air rushes from beneath the door, stirring the bits of trash on the platform. <sighs> You made me go through every iteration of problem solving. You made me waste all my resources. The die rolls and the coin flips, leaving your fate to chance. But you chose the path of probability. And the results left the door locked. You have one remaining resource. Screw you. (sighs) I used the quantum needle. Please roll. Four. You will be able to get your left arm up to the shoulder through the door. That's just great. The effect does not last long, and once lost, is gone. Okay, okay, let me think. I stick my arm through the door, and I feel for the handle on the other side. You feel the handle. Smooth in a well-worn way, contrasting with the flaky rust on the handle on your side. I turn it. The handle turns smoothly. The door opens. No, 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 no. Damn it! Shit! Excuse me, do you have a charger? Sorry, I just need to make a call. Would you mind? Can anyone lend me their phone? Hey, um, are you okay? No one will lend me their phone. You need to make a call? Here, you can borrow mine. Thanks. You're on the line with patient Hourglass. Let's get your call sign, please. Tipped Bishop. Passphrase. I found the glass coffin. And inside grew starlight. Okay, then you do the next part. And inside grew starlight. Hello? (sighs) Never mind. Thanks again. You play too? What? You know. You play too. Here. For letting me borrow your phone. Use it for your game. I think I'm done with mine.
This episode was written by Eli Barraza. It starred Emily Irvalina as Tipped Bishop, Phoebe Joy and Nate McDonald as the operators, and Richard Penner as the dictator. Art by Chandler Candela. Credit music by Oliver Morris. Editing and sound design by Esther Ellis and Justin Hellstrom. We've partnered with the Apollo Podcast app to create a custom carousel for the Goblet Wire. Go to the creators of the Goblet Wire section on the front page of their app to quickly subscribe to and download all of the shows our writers have made. Eli, the writer of this episode, is currently crowdfunding for the third and final season of The Far Meridian. If you haven't checked out The Far Meridian yet, then I need to work on my pitches. This is one of the most exciting moments audio drama has had in years. The chance to help conclude one of the best shows in our medium. Follow the Indiegogo link in the description and help it reach its goal to earn stickers, lino cuts, a custom zine, and more. Next week is episode 8, The Insatiable Cataclysm of Absence, by Justin Hellstrom. I hope we'll see you there.